All right, here we go. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. And for those that have many Cancer aspects, you want to pay attention. This is for May, the month of May. Cancer, just so you know, because Scorpio is the energy that the lunar eclipse is vibing in, this might be a good time for you. Oh, Cancer. Oh, 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 Cancer. Just so you know, you're the one who got this. This is a nice two cards to get. This talks about falling in love with someone. It might be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I think that's interesting because Cancer people don't normally get along with them. But I guess these ones here might have some water aspects that make them quite juicy for you. So I'm glad to see that for Cancers. Yes. Fallen in love energy, lots of talking, lots of sharing, lots of good things coming out of it. You know, returning to a place of uh, feeling connected, feeling uh, at one with yourself. And it's really giving you the strength that probably you haven't felt in a very long time. Looks like your cart was upside down for some time and now it's a good thing. Things are good and falling into place perfectly isn't that great glad to hear glad to be able to share that with you yes uh, judgment around your workplace though you might have had to make some pretty uh, difficult decisions and working really hard to make some changes happen in the workplace that will be uh, a long-term um, long-term effort you'll have to put a lot of effort into the work energy it doesn't look like you've actually really fully felt like being in your workplace for some reason um, it could be that you've been really busy with other things and that's sort of slowing you down or or making you turn the other way um, that's okay it's a temporary thing and there might be some other people that can be very helpful um, to you cancer this also oh i love what i'm seeing here lots of good changes in the workplace um, that you know, you maybe you didn't feel like working, but the changes that came have actually put you in a position where you do feel a little more uh, interested in your workplace. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, lots of opportunity, lots of um, uh, ideas being shared. Um, maybe some changes in your home. Maybe there's going to be a Either you're moving or a lot of movement's going to happen over the next little while for a lot of people, actually. Uh, Taurus um, was one who made uh, Aries. Uh, oh, Aries and Taurus, I think, were the main ones there. But also I'm seeing some movement here now for Cancer. Um, and it looks like wherever you made your decision to move, um, it, although it's been overwhelming because a lot of things happening at once for you, because it also looks like love has found you moving, maybe, maybe even moving in with your lover. Um, so everything's changing and it's just like, it just sort of blows your mind, right? You're just blowing, you're, you're mind blowing from all the head turning and all the things that are happening for you, which is a really great thing. I'm really happy to see it. I'm really happy to see it. Um, I think you've had uh, a difficult time making a decision about where your commitments will lie. And so now I think you've made those commitments and you're holding holding out hope that you made the right decisions, okay? But yeah, you, you um, settle down though because with the changes that are happening both in the workplace and in the home environment and the fact that you have you know, some sort of romance energy stimulating. It could be just a, a tipping scale of a bit, a bit too overwhelming for the cancer. So I'd like just to calm down a little bit and you try to ride that wave a little, uh, a little bit lighter. Okay. I do see some issues that'll be coming up regarding someone who may have, um, I don't know, offended you in some way. Uh, maybe maybe you're going to be revealing some damage that is done to your soul uh, about someone who violated you in some way and that expression will be coming up and out of you during these coming um, weeks and that um, that's a healing thing that's a very good healing thing and I think it's very helpful for you to do that okay cancer um, so and it could be that 
you know, brokenhearted by a love affair or love uh, relationship that just never has never been healed or never been resolved. Um, and maybe there was a violation there. Uh, so the bottom line is healing in this next month regarding some deep rooted uh, shadow things that uh, never got resolved or never got looked at or never got healed. So this will be a good time for you cancers to um, reveal that and uh, review that during the shadow of uh, the energy of uh, Scorpio uh, in the lunar eclipse. Okay, so this is a good time for you to reveal the the work that needs to be done to heal that uh, shadow energy. So that's the, the health issue. Money-wise, you do have to be mindful with your money. You do have to be careful with your money. But it looks like you're making some decisions that are going to be uh, helpful with that and bring more people into your vibe, spending more money and, and helping you make more money, okay? So that's a good thing. So just slow down a little bit with that. You, It'll all come together. You do need to look at sort of contracts or long-term relationships and right now there could be a lot of Peter Pan kind of energy um, that I don't know how you're doing it, but maybe you should nail things down a little better. Uh, that's just a thought, a question that Spirit wants to know why you aren't or, you know, what is holding you back from making uh, deeper commitments in that. Um, someone might be telling you that maybe you're moving too quickly uh, could look could be mother could be sister could be someone like that is a little worried for you and they have they have good intentions but again you're going to have to just follow your soul right so cancer i just want to say this to you plug along do the right thing do what you know you need to do to get the right places um tickety tickety boo you've got this yes there's a lot of stress but just slow down a little bit make sure you ground yourself go for walks in nature do some yoga, that kind of thing. 